I'm Tyler Jacks with Manhattan Sea Lifestyle Magazine. Happy Mother's Day weekend. Happy Mother's Day Monday to all those wonderful mothers out there. Today we're at one of our favorite places in the entire world. We're at Blueville Nursery. We're just off the roundabout from Scenic Drive in Anderson in West Manhattan. We're gonna be talking to these guys today about planting schedules. You know, we're past the freezes, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but now is the time to start getting your, your gardens ready, get all your flowers in full bloom for all summer long. So we're gonna go in, get some advice from these guys, see what they recommend as far as planting schedules and how to take care of all of our lovely decor and floral all summer long. So let's go inside. All right, so we're with my buddy, Mr. Tyler Case, the assistant garden store manager, back once again on Fox 43 AM Live with us. My friend, according to the old Farmer's Almanac, looking at the chart, we're in the zone five of the hardiness schedule. Yep. So right now is about the time to start getting our, our vegetables planted. It is. What do you have, like, what, what does Blue Phil offer as far as supplies, but also what advice do you have for us when it comes to planting garden vegetables? So we have lots of vegetable selections. We have your tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, melons, eggplant, squash, uh, strawberries. So anything you really need or the selection you want as far as vegetable-wise, um, if you don't want to do the plants or if you're really ambitious, we have plenty of seeds to choose from. Um, that gets really um, exciting because there's all kinds of different varieties. You can start from seeds. Um, now, yeah. does all that grow pretty well around? It does. Manhattan yep, everything Kansas? we have should be perfect to grow in this area. Okay, perfect. Now, what is your favorite thing to plant around here? What, what do you see the most, um, what's the most bountiful thing that you see planted? I'd say probably tomatoes and peppers are the most bountiful, most popular. I like cucumbers. Um, we have this fun one, it's called a cucamelon. It's like a little <laughs> teeny grape size. Uh, cucumber, but it looks like a watermelon, but it tastes like a cucumber. Um, they're really fun, just a really refreshing snack in the spring. And you have those already started, ready to go? I don't have any yet. Um, we should be getting some soon. I'm going to be starting some from seed next week, so we will have those for sale. Eventually, um, we usually have those in like a big tub, already started up growing on the fillets, so awesome. just take it home, set it down, and don't worry about it. Well, out here in the greenhouse, what do you have? Show me, show me what you got. Right here we have our peppers, uh, more of our sweet peppers. On the other side, we have hot peppers, um, jalapenos, ghost peppers, habaneros, anything you really So now, I see a lot of uh, people that plant these in buckets, mm -hmm. plant them in, in raised beds. Yeah. I'm sure they're ready to go straight into the ground. What, what do I need to do to get these things going? Um, all you really need to make sure your soil's good, uh, have a good quality topsoil, pour some compost or something nutritious in there, some starter fertilizer, and go for it. Throughout the summer, how often would you recommend watering it? Oh, probably close to every day or every other day. It kind of just depends on your rain and moisture, how well you mulch it and where it's located, but probably at least once a day or every other day. So if, say, my garden or my buckets or my raised beds are in direct sunlight, obviously more sunlight, you want to give it more water, yeah. right? Yes, and if they're in a pot or a raised bed, you're probably going to need to water every day because the only soil and moisture it has is in that contained little space, whereas if it's in the ground, it's going, it's got that deep root system to pull moisture from the deeper in the earth. Does direct sunlight affect them? It does. Does it, does it harm them? Nope, they want bright, full sun, so okay. the hotter, the better. Awesome. So Bluebell Nursery, just uh, just off the roundabout at Scenic Anderson, Scenic Drive and Anderson Avenue, everything that you need. Now, when it comes to raised beds, mm -hmm. again, this has been a feels like a million dollar yeah. question all year long. Do you have everything I need to we do. get that going? We do. We have uh, corner brackets to make your frames. We have topsoil, potting soil. Uh, raised bed mix, cotton burr, fertilizer, anything you really need to get that started. Now, raised beds, do I just treat that the same as the, the vegetables inside the raised bed? Would I treat that the same as if they were in the ground? Yeah, the only thing you need to be cautious with is your uh, fertilizer. Since there's not as much soil in there, um, just make sure you don't use too much fertilizer. Just scorch it. Use like a specialized container mix or a raised bed fertilizer. Awesome. Man, we're going to be having veggies all summer long thanks to the good folks at Blue Bone Nursery. My friend, as always, thank you for the advice. Of course. Thank you for the uh, the helpful hand year-round, and, and thank you for once again being on Fox 43 AM Live with me. Yep. At Blueville Nursery for Manhattan Sea Lifestyle Magazine, I'm Tyler Jackson.